Hi, I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And in this video, we are on the Virgin Voyages cruise and we took a little trip to the topless pool deck. A lot of people think it doesn't exist, but it actually does. And we're going to tell you all about it, where it is, how to find it, who's allowed to go, what can you do there, what can you not do there. All of that's going to be coming up just right now. That's right. So stay tuned for the Traveling Swingers. Okay, so this is trip number three for us on Virgin Voyages, right. and everyone gets better and better and better and better and better and better. Before we went on this trip, I actually was like looking online, seeing who else was out there doing videos about Virgin Voyages and whatnot. And I actually, I've seen a few videos, uh, including videos from actual like cast members, employees, whatever they call them, uh, here on Virgin, that saying no, there is not a topless uh, pool deck. Uh, there is not a topless deck. There's no way that you can do that, and that is not true. No, there is a deck called the Perk and they have yoga classes there in the mornings and afternoon dance classes but um, you are allowed to be topless up there that's right. We have a big group of swingers that we bring on uh, cruises uh, three times a year and of course our group loves to take their tops off yeah. and, you know as, as a lot of women do <laughs> and it's nice that there's actually a place that they can do that on a vanilla cruise like this That's right. um, but they are very strict on specific rules as mm -hmm. far as different places and that type of thing um, so yes the perch is 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 a very very top of the ship it's on the 17th deck mm -hmm. and uh, they only allow it as far as I'm aware they only allow it uh, when we're out, out at sea on sea days so not when it's uh, actually uh, uh, at the shore somewhere right you don't want the Disney cruise right next to you yeah exactly <laughs> Exactly. Uh, and also that there isn't, no, it, how are they as far as events, other events well, that are happening there? So they have other events going on there. And the last time we did it on our last cruise, uh, we asked a team member here if it was okay, because there was a dance class going on there in that area. And she said it was fine as long as you didn't take the dance class. So, That's right. So they don't so want your boobs flapping around, smacking you in the face. The dance class topless, but you can just hang out there. So when we plan, I, I've planned a few times where we're just going to meet up here just so that you have a buddy to go with and you feel more confident and comfortable. We did one this time. There were, I think, 15, 20 of us mm -hmm. up there at that um, that area. And we were just hanging out and, you know, not being super loud or obvious or anything, just kind of hanging out, having a good time. And that, but there weren't any classes going on at the time, too. So. Which is why we tell people to always go with a group that's yeah. going to be the, the best uh, best chance you have of having a good time, which is why we have these big groups that we bring with us. Uh, because we have talked to people that have come randomly onto a Virgin Voyages, and they go up to the perch to be topless, and there is nobody else there. Right. Or there's a handful of guys, you know, hoping hoping to see some boobs, and, and there's, you know, so they don't feel comfortable with that because it's one person yeah. doing it. And so so they don't do it. They don't do it because they're not sure if they could or if they should or, or that type of thing. And so uh, we actually will we'll, we'll set it up when we come here with a group of people. We're like, it's dancey at this time o'clock. We're gonna we're gonna head on up there so everybody can feel comfortable together yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and have a have a group that's mm -hmm. doing it and uh, find some drinks and and have a good time and 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 do all do yeah. you know, that's hang out the there. Only negative is there is not a bar up there, so. Mm -hmm. If you want a cocktail, you have to send your pool boy over to get it for you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's only one floor down, though. Yeah, I, it's not far. Yeah, it's not too far. I, I actually went to the wrong bar this yeah. time. It was halfway across the ship. I thought he ditched me. I asked him to go get me a cocktail, and he was gone for a really long time. I, I just thought he wasn't coming back. But no. apparently, he went to a bar on the other side of the ship when, in fact, there was right, one right below. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So live and learn. There is there is one uh, right, uh, just one, one floor down, and uh, they have all of the outdoor drinks, all the cool stuff with the... The, the blenders and all that if you want a margarita or, or mm -hmm. something along those lines of frozen frozen drinks you can do that yeah. too because yeah. it get, it can get hot up there yeah. uh, it definitely depends on the time of year we we tried to do this uh when we had a group last august mm -hmm. and hi and uh <laughs> when we had a group last august and it was too hot it was yeah. just too hot out yeah. there yeah and there wasn't much shade yeah so. yeah they, it's because it's on the very top of the ship there just is not much shade up there yeah. so uh when we came out here in march this time of year it's like 80 85 degrees the weather is absolutely perfect for it uh so that you don't burn all the things that you shouldn't burn nobody wants to burn those as long as someone puts the sunscreen on you 
in all the right places. That's right. It's it's a spot. It's, <laughs> I, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. It's very important to put uh, suntan lotion in the important spots, uh, yeah. and 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 there's always someone willing to do it. Yeah, there was definitely a lineup of people willing to reapply. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Don't want to burn the nipples. I think I we were we were on a cruise once where you did that. Yeah. I did. That yeah. was not pleasant. Yeah, yeah. No, she she actually put on uh, pasties on the trip. It wasn't a virgin cruise, um, but uh, she put pasties on and then did not have like enough of the lotion. Like well, around. I had reapplied sunscreen and I was concerned about getting it too close to the pasties and having the pasties fall off. So I didn't want to get the sunscreen too close to pasties for that reason. And so I had heart shaped sunburn where I didn't have the sunscreen. So yeah. So her, her, you think it looked really cute, but it really did not. Yeah. Her nipples looked <laughs> kind of odd for a while for a good year. Cause yeah. you're, cause you're so uh, light skinned That's and right. you, you, you uh, tan so easily and it just stays there. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, so that is the question that we, uh, that we get asked probably more than anything is, can you be topless on Virgin voyages? And as of the recording date of this video, that is, yes, they might see this and be like, Oh no, those people, they want to get naked on the ship. It's like, no, we're not naked. So this is a Topless thing, it's, and and it's 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 perfectly fine. There's nothing sexual. There's nothing any of that. It's no. it's it's just getting getting suntan like we're in Europe, right? Yep. Right, right, right. And uh, again, if you'd like to join us on a on a group trip, because we do these, we do one in March, we do one in August, and we do one in September to Europe. Mm -hmm. And all of the links to that are below. So definitely check out the links that we have. It's yeah. they're always an amazing trip. The people that went with us this time had the most fun in their entire life. Well, and one of the comments um, that we keep hearing from people is they love that we do all the planning so all you have to do is show up on board you get a text every morning with where your dinner reservation is where your show reservation is and all you have to do is show up you don't have to make any of those reservations or stress out if you're going to get into you know am i going to get into a restaurant that night and that kind of yeah that, taking care of all of that for you. that's definitely the biggest complaint that we get from people is the ner about virgin voyages is the nervousness they have about making sure they get reservations mm -hmm. because a lot of the reservations have to be done the second you get on board for the entire week yeah. Yeah. Uh, or they sell out and then you just kind of have to wait in line and hope for the best or hope for cancellations if you're going to do an exercise class or something along those lines. And so it's really, really nice to have someone like us yeah. uh, do the reservations for everybody. We have you know big, huge group reservations for dinners every single night so that people can try all the different restaurants. Mm -hmm. And so they can check out just basically because Virgin has absolutely the best food of any cruise line across the board. And we've been on every cruise line. So we can honestly say that. So, so if you'd like to join us again, the links are below um yeah yeah so that that's that's kind of what we think of the topless uh, yeah. pool or the topless deck we hope that we get to see you there sometime yeah, and, and if you need fun. lotion <laughs> rubbing just feel free to find matt matt's, matt's here for you all right anything else you want to say yeah, i think that's it all right well thank you so much for watching and we'll see you okay. next time